Good morning, Wi-Fi land all over the world today. We greet you in the name which is above all others, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. To him be glory, both now and forevermore. Well, in the United States where I live, there's a big election coming up uh, the, in a few days. They say that this election may affect the future of this nation for a long time to come. Well, as that may be, the, there's the office of the president, there's congressmen, there's gubernatorial elections. Many different offices will be uh, decided that day. But I want to tell you that no matter what nation it is, no matter what government it is, no matter what the ruler might be, uh, no matter what office it might be, all of these are decided against the backdrop of an election that took place 2,000 years ago. And that took place in Jerusalem. It, there was two candidates. There was Barabbas and there was the Lord Jesus Christ. It took place on uh, the Gabbatha in front of uh, Herod's uh, uh, palace. And the Pilate was the one that counted the votes. The one candidate, Barabbas, uh, he had led a rebellion against the Roman government. Uh, he had, in that rebellion and insurrection, he had committed murder. And he was also, he's also called a thief. Now, the Lord Jesus, the other candidate, he's the Son of God. He's the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. Now, he surrendered himself to God wholly and completely. And in submission to God, he submitted to the government of Rome. He said, render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's. Rather unto God, the things that are God's. Uh, Barabbas uh, had committed murder. The Lord Jesus is the prince of life. Barabbas was a thief. But the Lord Jesus, he said, more blessed it is to give than to receive. And he gave himself for me at the cross of Calvary. Oh, the son of God that loved me gave himself for me. But there were the chief priests and the elders. And they uh, were not so much in favor of Barabbas as they were against Christ. He was a threat to them because uh, he threatened their authority and their power. And they hated him for it. So they persuaded the people to vote for Barabbas. To vote for the devil's man. For he pictures the future coming Antichrist. And when, they, when Pilate said, well then what shall I do with uh, the king of the Jews. They said, crucify him, crucify him. What a, what a sad, what an incredibly sad day for humanity. And the blood of Christ stains every part of this world ever since. And so, uh, in the center of London, uh, there's the Westminster Abbey. And when, it's been there for over 900 years, and when the Queen of England in times past, or during her coronation, the Archbishop of Canterbury would come, the, the greatest man in the nation, and he would uh, place the crown upon the Queen's head. But before he did, in this great throng of people, he would announce to them, to the north, to the south, to the east and to the west, that, sirs, I present to you your undoubted Queen of the realm. Will you pay her homage? He said that four times, until there was a thunderous roar, four thunderous roars, saying, yes, we will pay homage to her. Only then did he place the crown upon the head of the queen. We tell you today, as Peter did in Acts 10, 36, Jesus Christ is Lord of all. He is the stone that the builders rejected, but God has made him the head of the corner. And we ask you today, to whom shall you pledge your homage? Who will you vote for? Who will you place upon the throne of your heart, the throne of your life? We ask you today, we beseech you today, to choose Christ. To vote for Him, to make Him the Lord of your life, and to glorify God in that decision to receive Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen.